Hey, I'm Greg Gifford, the Vice President of Search at US-based SEO agency Wikimotive. In this seventh lesson of the local SEO course, we're gonna be talking about Google My Business, or as it's sometimes still called, Google Places. Your Google My Business, or GMB profile, is your business listing on Google, where you're able to tell Google specific information about your business. It's a direct interface with Google's entity information about your business. The information is displayed to users in several locations. The most common location is that knowledge panel box that appears to the right of search engine results when someone searches your business name. Your GMB info also appears if you show up in the map pack or as a result in that local finder page which shows up when you click more places at the bottom of the map pack. Your GMB info also is displayed whenever someone searches for your business on Google Maps. But like I said, the most common spot your Google My Business info appears is the GMB profile, which is the info box that appears to the right of search results whenever someone searches for your business. And I've got a crazy concept to share with you today. Your Google My Business profile is your new home page. For years, we've all been told that the home page of our website was of vital importance since that was typically the first impression that we would make with potential customers but that's no longer the case. If someone needs your phone number to call you, it's listed right there at the top of your GMB profile. No need to click through to your website. If someone needs your address to get directions, it's right there at the top of the profile too, so they're not going to your site either. Your profile lists your hours of operation and your customer reviews, and it shows photos of your business, all of the things that customers used to visit your website to see. So now, your GMB profile is your new home page. It's the first impression you make with potential customers, and for many local businesses, the only impression you'll even make. You've gotta have an awesome profile to attract more customers. An awesome profile also helps you to show up more often in local searches. Before you do anything else, you'll need to be sure that you've claimed your location. Most of you will already have this knocked out, but if you're not sure, just head over to google.com slash business and log in. If you've claimed your location, it will be listed here. If not, you simply need to go claim it. Just click on the claim this location link on your GMB profile. If there's no link there, then the location has already been claimed. Check with your staff members and possibly even past employees to see if anyone claimed it on their own personal Google IDs. If you need help reclaiming your profile, it's usually easiest to contact Google My Business Support on Twitter. Just tweet to at Google My Biz and they'll help you get access to your listing. Once it's claimed, it shows up in your GMB dashboard. To optimize your profile, fill out everything you can. List your actual business name. Don't try to stuff in extra keywords. Your listing will get suspended if you get caught stuffing keywords. Make sure it's the same business name you use on your website and in your citations. Make sure your address is listed correctly and that your map pin is in the right location. Like I mentioned in the citations video, sweet numbers don't matter to Google, but they are important to humans. If you're really in a suite, make sure you list it so that customers can find you. If customers come to your location to do business, then that's all you need to worry about. If you're a service-based business that visits customers in their location, like a plumber or an electrician, then you're what's called a service area business. You should only fill this out if your business visits customers at their location or if you deliver to a customer's location. If you're a business where customers come to your location and you deliver, like a restaurant that delivers food, you should enter your address and fill out the service area field. It's important to list a local phone number. If you're doing call tracking and you have a number dedicated to your GMB listing, enter that number in the first phone number field. That's the number that shows up in your GMB profile, so it's what customers will call. Use the second phone number field to list your actual local number. That way, Google will see that it matches your citations and you won't have consistency issues. Enter your URL on the website field. Typically, you want to link to your homepage, but if you're a multi-location business, you may want to link to that location's page on your site. You need to upload lots of high quality images to your business. Your GMB profile will show both the photos you've uploaded and photos uploaded by the community. Your photos are more likely to be shown first if you upload high resolution professionally shot photos. Remember, your GMB profile is your first impression, 
So you should be doing this anyway. Don't take a set it and forget it mentality when it comes to your photos. You should upload photos often so that you're sharing current images of your business. You can also upload videos. If you've got commercials, GMB is a great place to share them. The file size limit is a maximum of 30 seconds of video and or 100 megabytes of file size. You should also be using Google Posts and you should pay attention to Google's questions and answers. But there's a lot to both of those, so I'll be talking about them in lesson eight. Finally, you should get familiar with your GMB dashboard. You're able to edit your information, add photos, add new users, and read and respond to reviews. Any editable information has a pencil icon displayed to the right. If you wanna track your performance, click on Insights on the left menu. The Insights screen will show you the most popular searches that users use to find you, and then a breakdown of how customers found you. Direct searches are searches where users typed in your business name. Branded searches are searches where users typed in a brand that's related to your business. Discovery searches are when users search for a generic keyword phrase, a product, or a service. You can see a timeline of the most popular times that users search for you and a breakdown of the actions that they performed on your GMB profile. You can see how many users clicked through to your site, how many requested directions to your location, and how many clicked to call on their mobile devices. That's it for lesson seven of the local SEO course. We hope you learned something awesome. If you've got any questions, feel free to tweet them to me directly at, at Greg Gifford or to the awesome team of pros over at the SEMrush Academy at at SEMrush Academy. Don't forget to check out the next lesson on Google Posts and GMB questions and answers. And when you think you're ready, head over to the SEMrush Academy page and take the test for this course so you can get officially SEMrush certified in local SEO.